the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples on their way to the town of Nain, and a big crowd was going along with them. As they came near the gate of the town, they saw people carrying out the body of a widow's only son. Many people from the town were walking along with her. When the Lord saw the woman, he was sorry for her and said, Don't cry. Jesus bent over and touched the stretcher on which the people were carrying the dead body. They stopped and Jesus said, Young men, get up. The man sat up and began to speak. Jesus then gave him back to his mother. Everyone was frightened and praised God. They said, a great prophet is here with us. God has come to his people. News about Jesus spread all over Judea and everywhere else in that part of the country. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The students, we have listened to a wonderful story of Jesus, bringing the only son of a mother from death to life. Jesus felt sorry for the mother who had lost the only son. What does Jesus do then? He walks over to the mother and filled with compassion, he says to her, don't cry. And then touches the young boy laid on the stretch and said, young man, get up. The boy sat up, began to speak, and this gave him to his mother. What a wonderful story of hope joy and love. In this incident, we see the compassion of Jesus when he says to the mother, don't cry. A touching moment that happened then. And then when he, after he says that, we see the power of Jesus when he brings the young man from death to life as Jesus says, young man, get up. One of the things that the scriptures help us understand is that God is unchanging. He is always loving, merciful, patient, kind, caring, and loyal. That means no matter what, no matter what we have done or who we are, God loves us as we are. There is nothing no thing that can separate us from his love and care for each of us. God is always near, always ready to help, always ready to receive us and to receive our prayers. It is never too early or too late to turn to God. He is always waiting and watching for us. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, in this moment and the next. We just celebrated Christmas. That's because in his eternal love, God chose to make his home among us. He chose to become incarnate in the person of Jesus and live with his people. He chose to live an ordinary life just as we do. He ate, he laughed, he wept, he suffered. However, he also chose to act powerfully and compassionately on the earth, even going so far as to raise the dead from the widow in the gospel. We just heard about that. He chose chose to make the ultimate sacrifice for us on the cross that each of us could know 
and experience the gift of hope. For the past couple of years, it has been difficult for many people and many have suffered hopelessness as well as losses of one kind or another. We have entered lockdowns and delayed plans. We have missed our friends, extended family members. We have not been able to travel where we wanted or gather as we hoped to gather. But God does not want us to live in our struggle, losses, or hopelessness. Instead, God wants us to focus on the reality that He has faithfully journeyed with us through it all. We were not alone. He wants us to hear His constant invitation to come to the springs of living water and to trust in Him and in His words that we might experience a deeper meaning of life, one that goes beyond late night festivities, fireworks, shocking resolutions. So God wants us to arise from our fear, from indifference, disappointment, discouragement, or whatever it is holding us back, and to live our lives in union with Him. He invites us to open our hearts and minds to Him, that He might heal and transform us with His love. He invites us to listen as He speaks. He invites us to place our hope in Him and to follow in the footsteps of His Son, Jesus. This means taking the focus off ourselves and of our losses and placing in such things as having compassion for the needs of others. It means lifting up the lonely, bringing comfort to those who suffer, encouraging others, and living our faith every day without fear. God wants to make all things new in our lives and in our world. He wants us to know His love and to live with courage and freedom. God wants to transform us so that every day we are more and more like Jesus. So let us pray for the grace to trust in God and be His faithful children.